Welcome to Numbers World. Today we are going to discuss area and perimeter of a rectangle or a square. So we will discuss different types of questions in this video. So let's just start it. Before we let's discuss area first. The longer side of the rectangle is known as length and the other side is known as width. Area, the space that is covered by a shape or the space that is inside the shape is known as area. Formula of the area is length multiplied by width. Perimeter. The perimeter is the distance around the shape or the boundary line of the shape that is highlighted in the green color. The formula of the perimeter is equal to 2 into L plus W. So, to calculate the area and perimeter, we should know about the length, width and the formulas of area and perimeter. You may see three types of questions in an assessment. Uh, in the first type, a shape can be given with length and width present with it. A grid can be given, but no length and width is shown. And, and in the third type of question, only length and width are given, but no shape is given. So let's discuss the first type of the question, area and perimeter of a rectangle when length and width both are given. So you are going to write the formula first. Area is equal to length multiplied by width. So we are going to put the value of length which is 7 cm and width which is 4 cm. So there is multiplication between them so we are going to multiply them. So the answer is 28 cm square. Then write the formula of perimeter. Put the values of L and W into the formula. Add them up. 7 plus 4 is equal to 11 cm. As there is no operation between 2 and this bracket so we are going to multiply both of them. So, perimeter is equal to 22 centimeter. Now, area of a square. If length of a square is given but no width is present, but you know that length and width of a square are same. So, you may find out the width by yourself. Write the formula of area, put the values and then sort it out and find the answer. But there is another formula as well. Like we say length and width both are same. So, we can replace the w by writing l so l multiply by l because we said both are same so l multiply by l is equal to l square so square means we have to multiply the number by itself two times so value of l is four centimeters so we are going to multiply two times so answer will be 16 centimeters square again so your choice which formula you want to use perimeter of a square Length is given, width is given, write the formula of perimeter, put the values and find out the answer. But if you want to use another formula, like we know the length and width both are same. So we can replace W by writing L and or even we may replace L by W as well. So if we write L at the place of W, the it will become L plus L. L plus L is equal to 2L. As there is no operation between them, so we are going to multiply this 2 by 2. So it will be equal to 4L. So it means the perimeter of the square is equal to 4L. 4 multiplied by the value of L, which is 4 cm, the answer will be 16 cm. It's totally up to you which method you want to use. In second type of question, area and perimeter of a rectangle, we have to find, but no area and perimeter is present here. So we are going to count the number of columns first. There are six columns, so length is equal to six. And to find out the number of rows and uh, width, we are going to start from our first box again. So it's one, two, and three. It means width is equal to three. So we have our length and width. Simply write the formula, put the values, and find out the area and perimeter. Now, if a square is given, similarly, we are going to find the number of columns, which is equal to length and then number of rows. And we will start from our first box again. So the answer is 5 centimeters. So length and width both are same. Write the formula, then find out area and perimeter. But if you want to use the shortcut means the other formulas, then A is equal to L square, which, which we have derived before. So L square means we have to multiply 5 cm by itself 2 times. So answer is same 
area is equal to 25 centimeters square and perimeter is equal to 4L so we are going to multiply 4 by value of L which is 5 centimeters so answer is 20 centimeters now third type of question in which length and width are directly given no shape is given over here that is the most easiest type of a question in which we have to directly write the formula multiply and sort that out or we have to write the formula of perimeter, put the values, and then we are going to write the value of perimeter. If a square is given, so values are same, your choice which formula you want to use, just put the values and then find out the area and perimeter. What is values that, that will give us? We may also need to find the area and perimeter of a compound shape. A compound shape is a shape which is created by uh, joining many rectangles or squares. So for that purpose, to find out the area, we are going to uh, count the number of boxes inside the given shape. Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Then if we can create the number of boxes inside, there are 17 squares. So, area is equal to 17 centimeters square. Whereas, to calculate the perimeter, we have to see the boundary line of the given shape. And we will start counting it. Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Similarly, if we count all the lines around the shape, we get 22. So, we will say perimeter is equal to 22 centimeter. We do not I hope you like my video. So, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Bye-bye.